This weekend, Calera Main Street is hosting a few events to get you and your family excited for the holiday season, including a Christmas parade downtown and a disc golf, uh, disc golf tournament. Uh, Jonathan Skinner joins us live. All right, we got the, what is that, a train horn? What is that noise? Well, that's how you know we're in Calera because we're downtown here and you can hear the train right behind us right now. But this is the area where that disc golf tournament and the parade actually will be happening on Saturday. I'm here joined by Ben Swam. He's the director of this tournament that's happening. Ben, thank you so much for being with us today, man. Thanks for having me. So for people that aren't familiar with disc golf, just tell us a little bit about the sport. Uh, well, it's, um, it's just kind of like golf. It's, uh, the intent is to throw the disc, get the lowest score possible while you're playing. Uh, just like golf, we have uh, birdies and eagles and pars and bogeys and all of that. So, uh, But it's a good way to get some good walking exercise. You average about two and a half to four miles per round of walking uh, and a fun way to do some walking by throwing some frisbees. Yes, sir. And so that tournament is happening here downtown. I know I've seen these baskets sort of where you throw them in in parks and everything like that, but how different is it doing it like in a downtown environment? Well, it's definitely going to be a little different. Uh, we do have some holes that are in the grass and the wooded areas, but uh, on the concrete, obviously, or uh, the asphalt, the disc are going to fly and land a little differently. It'll be a little bit challenging, and it's just fu it's a fun way to play some disc golf on, in a new place, uh, and it's a, a temporary course, so you don't get to do it all the time. Yeah. So before the commercial break, I tried to do one, completely missed. <laughs> so could you sort of show me what I need to do and for people out there who might want to try this out? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's uh, the only thing you did wrong in the in the the, the other spot was you just kind of stuck your arm out too far. It's okay. uh, a little more like a handshake. You just kind of stick your hand out and All right, cool. let the disc fly. Well, let's step back here a little bit and try to try to do this here. See if I can get this down. So I want to make sure. So I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna put it in my right hand. What else do I need to do here? Just uh, get a comfortable grip on the disc, okay. uh, and you're basically just gonna hold your hand out, okay. and you're gonna twist the disc in a little bit and spin it out like I said like a handshake perfect perfect all right let's try this out let's see how it goes here no pressure oh so close so close <laughs> so close so for people it, it does take a lot of practice and, yeah. and uh, you know it's a lot of repetition and muscle memory yeah so it's not it's not something that you're gonna perfect in one day <laughs> absolutely absolutely we'll try to get better over time so for people that want to come up this weekend we're gonna put that information on the screen what do they need to know if they want to come out to see the tournament uh, basically the tournament's gonna tee off at 8 30 uh, so if you want to come out and spectate the tournament is already full okay. uh, we have 90 players playing this weekend uh, but if you want to come out and spectate you can just come early and trying to find you a nice spot where you can see some people throwing this awesome yeah. awesome awesome all right and then the christmas parade actually happens right after that tournament at six o'clock ben thank you so much for taking the oh, time today man. appreciate you reporting from downtown calera jonathan skinner wbrc fox 6 news on your side